Hi guys, it's Ross here from Typey Media. Welcome to another weekly wisdom video. Um, now, Typey Media are known for our four day work weeks and the way we can get away with that is by cutting out all the fat from our daily processes. So in this weekly wisdom video, I'm gonna go through ways that I can save a second here, a minute here, an hour here with some of these tips and hacks inside of Excel, as well as some tools that we use to kind of cut the fat and get straight to the point so we can get the data in analyze it and more importantly get it live on our client site so we can start ranking them so without further ado let's get into it so one of the things i find that people spend a lot of time on is finding all the urls that have ever existed for their website now typically they maybe crawl the site to find what's on there maybe look at the xml site map they maybe jump into search console have a look at that maybe jump into majestic to see all the pages with links and that's cool, but what if the client site has been migrated like six times over the last 12 years? Do you have that data? Is it sitting anywhere? Of course, you could go to something like archive.org and you can search that and start pulling that out, but that's a bit slow as well. So I'm gonna show you a really fast way to put all this stuff together. So on the topic of archive.org, did you know that there is an endpoint um, to pull CSVs from it. So what you can actually do is construct this entire URL. So we're using my website, typeamedia.net. Uh, match type is a domain. Um, you can see here a URL limit. I can actually say, give me 10,000, 100,000, you name it, as many URLs as you want. Output it in a CSV and do it from 2007 to 2018 and show me only things with a 200 status code header response. Awesome. So that's kind of cool, but I can't really do anything with that unless it's in a spreadsheet. So we all love a little bit of um, Google Sheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the uh, data. Wait, just a second. I need to put an equal sign at the start of that so it knows that it's actually a formula. And once we do import data, make sure that you wrap it in parentheses, hit that there, and all of a sudden, boom, okay, there's all the URLs. Nice, I like that. So what's next? Well, I'm going to get my sitemaps. Now, if you use Yoast, and I absolutely love Yoast, you'll probably get multiple sitemap URLs. Um, what you want to do is set something up where you can just blast that in here. Now, import XML does that for you, but the problem with X, uh, import XML, if I was to do it, it wouldn't give me a lovely clean list like this. If I go import XML. What it's going to do is it's literally going to give me the entire thing with all of the formatting or it's going to just throw up a big old error. Um, so we don't obviously want that. So when I do import XML, get a little bit of regex in here to chop some of that out. Um, now would be a good time to pause the video and just take a note of what this is. I'm not going to explain it. It's a little bit outside of the scope of this video. Uh, but ultimately it lets you strip out all of the unwanted stuff from your XML sitemap. Next up, Majestic. Now, I really love Majestic and it's mostly because they've got APIs into pretty much everything. So there's an add-on for Google Sheets. Go into the add-on, put your domain name in. So we want type a media.net and we want to see the top pages and both historic and fresh. Hit get data. And then you can see these new tabs appearing because it's pinging their API and it's dumping everything into sheets. Beautiful. Um, but those are two separate sheets. I want them together. So what I'm actually going to do is use this formula called unique. So if we go unique. Um, now, because we're stacking two different things on top of one another and not just looking for one unique list, we need to turn this into an array. Um, so we're going to go curly brackets. And I'm just going to take the first three columns, semicolon, which we use inside of array, inside of sheets. Go to the next one, same thing. Close our curly brackets off like this, and then on we go. All right, so that's pulled in all of the majestic data in there, which is fantastic. Next, the fan favorite, it is of course SEM, or should I say SEM, Rush. So inside my add-ons, going into Supermetrics and launching my sidebar. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop our domain name in here. The report that we want is the do, uh, domain organic search keywords. And then we hit apply. And that's going to pull everything in for us. 
All right, so next up we want to get Google Webmaster Tools. Note that I said Webmaster Tools, not Search Console, because I've been doing this for more than two seconds. Okay, so how do we get Search Console in? Again, it's our favorite tool. It's going to be super metrics, but we're just going to change the data source to Search Console. Okay, dropping in your website, pulling it in as normal. Uh, make sure you put your dates as last year so it pulls in loads and loads of stuff. And I want to get the search queries with the full URLs. Hit apply changes and in it comes. All right, and here's all the stuff that we rank for. I'm not particularly bothered with that. I'm bothered with this landing page data. Look at all that lovely duplication. All right, so we've got all these different sources and now what we want to do is bring them all together in a nice kind of singular format and remove all the duplication. So the question is, how do we do that? Well, we're going to go back to the wonderful formula, my favorite formula, unique. So we're literally just going to go unique here. Open with a normal bracket and then remember, because we're about to do an array, which is multiple formulas stacked on one another, we're going to have a curly bracket here. And we are literally going to go to absolutely everything. So we're going to start with the archive, pull that in. We're then going to go into the sitemap, pull that in. We're then going to go to all majestic, pull that in. We're then going to go into SEMrush, pull all that in. And then we're going to go into Webmaster Tools. The artist formerly known as Webmaster Tools now is Search Console pull that in and we're going to close that off with a curly bracket and a normal one hit the enter button and boom there we go so what we've now got is a completely ordered list of every single url that's ever existed on our website and every single duplicate removed so i think i can probably say with a high degree of certainty that that's all the urls that have ever existed for my website i can now do some really cool things with it so some examples of what I would do with this data. Well, I'd probably want to go to the frog and I want to paste in a list and I probably want them to crawl it because when they finish, I'm going to pull a report and I'm going to see all of my redirect and canonical chains. So if there's been tons and tons of redirects before or lots of site migrations, I can see where all the problems lie. That's SEO speed hacks, tips and tricks done.